what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to get rid of yeast infection how to get rid of itchy how to get rid of smelly vjj and i'm going to get, show you two ways in which you're going to do that okay and this is just going to be superb it's going to work really really fine really really nice really really great on in your you know private area okay so the first thing we're going to be needing we're going to be needing some garlic gloves all right so in this two bunch of garlic gloves i'm actually going to be needing few of this all right and the next thing we're going to be needing you're going to be needing a little bit of airtight container however it may be you would be using that and you're going to be needing some needles and some thread clean let it be clean and the next one what you're going to be needing is coconut oil all right so you have to use organic coconut oil your coconut oil has to be organic guys because when it's organic it's just going to work really really well really good and it's going to be very effective okay that's why you need organic coconut oil obviously because you know you're going to be putting it in your private area so you need something that is actually very natural processed naturally all right so you can actually make your own coconut oil if you don't trust any coconut oil you buy all right so let me show you the first step in which you're going to be doing this all right and i'm going to be keeping this aside uh, garlic can sometimes be actually very difficult to peel <laughs> but yeah when it's actually very mature and big it's not going to be difficult mine is actually small garlic all right so gone far with the third one i'm sorry the second one now the third one that is it and also the fourth one all right so what you're going to do is to chop the garlic in little um, oh, sorry in little pieces okay now i'm gonna be telling you why you need to chop the garlic in little pieces as small as you can chop it and then you transfer that into a little bowl okay so what you do is to pour in the coconut oil you don't need too much of it just a little will go because <coughs> you're not going to be rubbing too much at a time all right so now what you do is to transfer this mix into an airtight container which i earlier said so you have to make sure you chop your garlic in a way that it's gonna get into your container okay just like mine right now and then you would airtight it all right so now what you do is that you're gonna keep this mix overnight okay when it stays overnight the garlic has actually induced into the oil now what you now be having is the garlic oil okay now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take the oil the next day you're gonna take a little bit of oil and then you're gonna apply it like rub it onto your vag area if you're actually having itchiness like if it's itching you a whole lot you're going to rub this it's gonna be really really nice and it smells good also okay so you're gonna rub that now what you do is that you don't actually put it inside because the garlic is actually too exposed to get inside your vag is just going to be very hot although it's not going to be harmful but it's going to be hot okay that's it so you're going to rub this 
for some couple of days for like four to five days and whatever infection you have going on there would be gone guys like seriously okay you don't need a soothsayer to tell you that it will be gone all right and all of your problems are gone okay because to go so the next step how you're going to achieve that you're gonna take one piece of garlic and you're just gonna carefully peel it now do not do not punch it okay make sure you don't actually punch it so that the garlic um, juice won't come out here you have it okay now what you do is that you're just going to take the needle and you're going to sterilize this needle okay you're going to put it into water we're going to get water put in salt or apple cider vinegar either of those ones and you're going to sterilize the rope okay you're going to put it in there for some couple of minutes and it's just going to kill any germs that is actually there since you're going to be putting it into your body okay so you actually don't need germs guys all right so after that you can clean that up and then keep the water aside then you pierce it in all right so this is basically what you're going to need to get rid of yeast infection okay so you're just going to like this then what you do is that you're going to take this and then you're going to put it inside your badge let the rope be dangling outside so when it's actually getting um, very very uncomfortable for you to manage you can just drag it out okay and it's all out all right make sure that everything is clean okay and you can actually put it uh, when you want to sleep put it in there and then the next morning you remove it all his infection is gonna is going is just going for good okay and you're gonna be good to go guys so that's basically how you're just going to get rid of his infection